What's going on guys? It is your boy Chris back again with another new video today and this is pretty much going to be my last FIFA 19 video I'm going to be making. The rest of the videos I will be making every single day for the next 9-10 months is going to be FIFA 20 related content. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my endgame squad, kind of like the club that I've been rocking with as well. Um, I think in pet in the last two FIFAs I've done better and better each year. FIFA 17, I had a decent squad, a couple team seasons, which I packed on tradable. FIFA 18, it got a little bit better with Festival of Football. I had Pogba, I had a couple different Player of the Month cards. So it did get better, but this year, I think with the way that we traded and the way we got better that way and not spending a dime on the game, that's the thing I'm most proud of this year is that we're able to make a squad like this, although the gameplay is trash. We can do a squad like this without spending a single dime on the game and that's what we're going to be doing next fifa as well and we're going to have an even better squad than this so let me show you guys the squad this is my end game squad and i think i'm pretty proud of this um yes a couple pack pulls have to be done in order to get some of these cards but i think i would have gotten these in general so here's why i'm thinking that right so in some whenever bpl team of the season was right that thursday night i go and pack myself red sun and red hazard now, if I don't pack those two cards, and say I pack two trash players like Doherty and Madison, which it could very well have been for gold one, I probably don't make this team right away. I probably keep on trading. I had seven mil all the time um, in Thursday investments, and I would just keep on trading with it until I had probably over 10 mil, which I then would have been able to rip more packs and maybe do more icon SPCs as they got cheaper. So I think this team was achievable regardless with the amount of coins that we had. Um, I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna go through the whole team, what I like about it, and I'll talk about the bench and stuff like that as well. So let's go first. I mean, I packed Team of the Season Ronaldo out of the uh, untradeable Ultimate Team uh, or Ultimate Upgrade, um, which was the guarantee. So I got him. I saw I saw Portugal, and I thought it was gonna be Bernardo Silva, and then it's, and then it paused, and I saw a striker, and I was like, no fucking way. First time ever pulling Ronaldo. 183 goals and 89 assists in 205 games. I think that's pretty good um, in 205 games. He probably could have scored a little bit more, but again, the finishing is inconsistent this year, so you can't really you know fault him for that. Let's go Prime Sabio, which is somebody I've used almost 500 times this year, and for the amount of you know for when I bought or when I got him um, untradeable, I played a good amount of games with him. 231 goals and 175 assists in 420 games. I think that's another good goal uh, tally. It's about a goal or assist every game. So I loved him. I loved his five-star week. Fun man, his finishing was clinical at times. Um, my biggest concern, obviously, was like his physical. Uh, but I didn't really notice that too much in the game. Um, so he he was amazing to use. These two are front man are a lot of fun to use. Um, they literally bang in goals for fun. Uh, Vieira, obviously, I move him to CDM in-game. I'll show you the formation I use in-game as well after this, but... 383 games played for Vieira. Did him for about a million coins, 1.2 or something like that. Um, really, really good price to get a Prime Vieira. Now, I don't think he was as good as last year's Prime Vieira. I thought last year's Prime Vieira was just far and away the best de uh, defensive mid in the game. This year, you can kind of make the case for a couple different players, but it's still in his element. He's still one of the best defensive mids to use this year. Um, Hullet, I mean, you get, like, what's a team without Hullet? Five star week for four star skills. I had 203 games played with him. Not enough goals or assists to be fair. I'm just looking at that goal and, and assist tally. I probably should have done better with Hullet. Um, maybe it was the position I was playing him. I'll show you guys that where I was playing all of these players. Um, but definitely something you had to get in your team. Like next FIFA, that's gonna be like probably the first icon that I go for because he's just he's needed in every team. Again, I thought he was better last FIFA than he was in this FIFA, but get different gameplay maybe that's why um team of season sun red look at the look at the goal tally 317 goals 248 assists over a goal or an assist a game um in 434 games I incredible player um probably the best player i've used this year um this guy would just score r ridiculous goals from ridiculous angles you guys know what the first time like he scores ridiculous goals um, probably my favorite card to use this FIFA. Used him majority of after I packed him, I had to use him on every team. He was so good. Um, Pogba, sixty-seven games played, only played that much with him because I got his footies towards the end of July, early August. So 
you know, they probably waited a little bit too long to bring up Pogba, so I wasn't able to play as many games, but still was a beast. I thought um, I used him in left center mid. I'll show you the formation I used in game. Uh, Fern Lamendi, I thought was a really good left back in this game. Probably the best left back I used. Um, it depends on him or maybe like Teles team this season as like the two best left backs. But if you look at him, like 97 pace, 88 passing, 91 dribbling, 90 defending, and 91 physical. Great player, five star weak foot, four star skill moves. Um, you can play him at right back as well because he's got the good weak foot. He just was a great player to use. Very, very solid defensively and going forward to provide width for me as well. Um, next, Dava Luis. Now, I did Dava Luis the second time. Um, the first time I was not able to do him because I didn't have enough coins at the time, apparently. Um, and I, sh and I regretted it because I thought I should have done it at the time. He is such an end game center back. Um, people like to say he's not an end game center back. I actually disagree. I think he gets into most people's teams. Um, you compare him with Van Dyke. You compare him with Maldini. He is one of the best center backs I've used as FIFA, if not probably second best. I, I would say he's second best in this game um, behind Van Dyke or Maldini. One of the two. There's like a top three, and I think he's in that top three for sure. Uh, Desai was solid. Used him probably the most. I think I used him more than any other card this FIFA. Besides Player of the Month Hazard, which I put him into an SBC. 680 games played. Nothing too crazy on the card. Um, I thought he was good. Um, I actually got I got rid of Blanc before him because he was better in bad gameplay uh, than Blanc. I thought Blanc was just way too like clumsy um, in bad gameplay. And bad gameplay is 95% of the game now. So, this I was pretty good. Um, probably... If I was if I was choosing, I would get Van Dyke or Maldini instead. The the moments card, Lala packed him red. Only played about sixty games with him, but very solid as a right back. I mean, there's nothing this guy can't do. Obviously, people know like he's one of the most used right backs in the game this year. Uh, very very meta card. He's definitely getting an upgrade next year. Um, he's very very good in this game. High medium work rates work rates was not really a problem for me. And then De Gea, obviously. Um, now I used to, I use Gold De Gea, but I also I like buy him and then I sell him a lot. So like I actually didn't have like the the real De Gea. Although you can't even show like how many goals um he's been he's conceded and stuff like that. But he's De Gea, Ederson, and I would say Vandis are probably the top three goalies for me in the game. It doesn't matter which version you have of them, they're just so good. Um that might cause a little bit of a controversy with Ederson, but I, for me, Ederson team this season was one of the best keepers I used. And obviously, people love middle Van de Sar and they love their De Gea. Um, I thought he was great this year. So this was, this is my end game team. And, and look at the bench. I mean, let's be real. Like, your first team could be really good. But if you have a bench like this, like, this is ridiculous. 97 Hazard. And let's actually show you. Let's actually show you. <laughs> I did... I did the 97 Hazard and I have the 98 untradeable. So like that's like literally like the embarrassment of riches I had this year where I was literally able to afford every player that I wanted to play with. Um, if I didn't pack Hazard, I probably would have used him at some point, buying him on the market because I just had enough coins to do it. Um, trading this year definitely changed the game for me. Um, and I only trade, traded big time within like three or four months. So to get this team in like... By the way, just a quick shout out to this for Charleston, man. I'm telling you guys right now, probably one of the best cards that they've released. It just was unfortunate that they released him so late within Fuddies because 39 games played, he has a five star week foot, four star skill moves, 39 goals in 39 games, and 20 assists. He was amazing for me. Promise as well off the bench. Amazing. I would always bring Richarlison, Promise, and probably Dembele or Hazard on. Suarez as well. I packed him, played only two games with him. But. Look at the team that we have. This Dembele single-handedly got me elite one weekend just by coming off the bench and being a great striker. Um, and then these guys, obviously, these are untradeable pack pulls. Um, Alex Teixeira obviously did his objective, which I didn't get to use him enough um, as I wanted to. But 97 Salah, didn't really use him too much. I got to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this card. But again, it is a 97 red team that's even pulled. Um, so that's the team, man. I'm telling you guys right now, like for next year, if you're following me, if you're subscribed to me, if you're following my Twitch and stuff like that, you guys just want to be listening for next year, man, because you guys can easily get a squad like this. Like, yeah, there is an element of pack pulls that go into this. You see the good reds that I've packed, but it also is a combination of getting good pack pulls plus also being able to buy any of these cards that I wanted to. 
I could have bought Hullet. I could have bought Vieira. I could have bought Ronaldo. Could have bought Azebio. Like, I could have bought any of these players if I continued to trade after I had 7 mil. So, I was able to buy the majority of these players. So, next year, guys, just, you know, make sure that you guys are following the channel because it's going to be a lot um, going on, I think. Uh, let me show you guys the in-game squad that we used because I want to show you guys right now. We got Elite probably five or six times this year, and I would say probably 20 plus times I got Gold 1. I would always go attacking, guys, and I would always go pressure on heavy touch. Um, I always like to do that because here's my thinking with that is defensive style, right? You're, you're stepping back a little bit, and in bad gameplay, what do players do? They take bad touches. When you do pressure on heavy touch, these players in bad gameplay are taking heavy touches. It creates more pressure. And there's a lot of people that don't really know how to play out of the press. So this worked really well for me this year for the most part, being a gold one or elite three player. If you can get gold one plus, you're winning 20 games out of 30 in a weekend. You can kind of, you're on the top echelon of like FIBA players. You're in like the top 5% of players because not everyone can actually get gold one consistently or elite three. Um, possession, I love to play possession because I love passing the ball around. I love breaking through my opponents. Unfortunately, this year, the game was not rewarding enough in the 1v1s or like when you're in on goal. So that's something I hope that they fix for next FIFA. And I'll probably come out with a video this week talking about FIFA 20 and all things that relate to it. Um, this is kind of like the start of like the consistent uploads for me and same time every single day. So just get used to that. Um, let's show you the formation that I was using. So Usebi on the left, Ronaldo on the right. I had Sun playing center attack in mid with Hullet on the right. The reason why Hullet was on the right side of a, uh, like three center mids is just because like I wanted Sun, I wanted Sun to play attack in mid because I knew how lethal he was. And that's why Hullet's stats probably aren't as good as they should be because he played right center mid. Um, Pogba, obviously, amazing card. Played in my last center mid. Vieira played in my CDM. Of course, you don't really want to play him anywhere else. Mendy and then the back four is obviously the same thing, but that's how I lined up in game. Um, don't think you guys want to like my width my depth like none of this stuff like really mattered to me i didn't really care like i wasn't one of those people that just like did this go like one depth you know what i mean like i just i just kept it the same like i just play fifa and i and i play it the way i want to i play possession i like to score crazy ass goals i like to legit i've told people in my stream like i want to make you not want to play fifa again because i want to score goals that just make you think fuck like i just got absolutely shit on and then that's what I go for, man. I, I try to entertain my viewers. I try to, you know, create the best gameplay that I can. And, you know, that sort of, like, vision to, like, spot different passes and stuff like that. I love doing that. I think it looks so good on, on a football game. So, hopefully next FIFA we're allowed to do that. Um, this will probably be the end of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully, if you guys did get through all the way here, subscribe if you are new. Leave a like if you are new as well. I'll be uploading more consistently, obviously. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys can get a team like this next year. Just watch. Follow other traders. You know, I have no problem with you guys follow, following traders, man. That is the way to go next year. Is if you follow traders, you follow people like me, you'll make a lot of coins. You'll be able to have a dream team like this. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys as always. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.